Hi Cancer, I hope you guys are all doing very, very well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of November 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is a general reading, do keep that in mind. So it's not going to be everybody's situation. And also the roles could be reversed. So it could be that you are a Cancer or you might be cross-watching for another Cancer. Either way, the roles can be reversed. All right, Cancer. Also, if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First couple weeks of November. What is going on? <clears throat> we will be focusing on the other person's energy towards you this time around. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Three of Pentacles crossed by the Two of Cups. Okay, so it, it looks like somebody here that you're dealing with um, is almost like putting you in the friend zone, or at least it feels that way. Um, it, it's kind of like they're trying to maintain some kind of a, either a friendship or a working relationship, or even that they're trying to like come to some kind of an agreement with you even. But I feel like for the most part, like it's like they're trying to keep the romance aspect to the side for now and we'll see we'll see what's happening here in the recent past we have the ace of cups and in the near future we have the emperor okay yeah see so there is love here um because it's the ace of cups here in the recent past and this is not an energy that just fades so i do feel like this two of cups this love it's still there but for whatever reason it's like this person is trying to keep things on a more practical level um rather than allowing the love to fully um, be expressed. We do have the Emperor though coming up, so I do see them um, stepping up in some way, so we'll see more as we go along. Let's see, for their consciousness we have the Seven of Pentacles, for their subconscious we have the Hanged Man. Okay, so this is quite a bit of um, waiting. It's kind of like they're, I feel like they're taking a step back, um, maybe just letting things progress slowly because I do see them actually wanting to invest in this, but it's like just taking it step by step and just waiting to see. Almost like it's like a fear of moving too fast, possibly. Let's see for their energy towards you. We have the Ace of Swords. For your energy here, we have the Eight of Swords. And their hopes and fears, we have the world. Okay, so this is interesting because it could be it could be that you're getting like mixed messages here because it's like they are investing a little bit, right? But then they're also holding back. It feels like they're just kind of keeping you as a friend, but you know the emotions are there and there is some action that they're taking here towards you or there is some kind of a truth that is showing through but it almost comes off as their actions not really matching up to, you know, like the energy. And that I, I feel like you're picking up on that energy. So you're in this eight of swords because who it's like you're just kind of confused. Like what is going on here? And, you know, you might feel like this is like a dead end, like this is not going anywhere. Um, there might also be like a fear of this not ever really progressing they have the world as in their hopes and fears. So it's like, yeah, you know, this is something that they want, but there's this fear of reaching that end goal. And we'll see more of what that means once we clarify. So let's start by clarifying this three of pentacles with the two of cups. The queen of wands, the queen of swords, and the high priestess. Yeah, okay, so what they're, what they're feeling intuitively and what they're actually saying or how they're actually behaving, like these things are in contradiction. Uh, it's almost like this person is trying to think too rationally, like there's this clash between 
their intuition or what they're feeling drawn towards and they are seeing you as being very very desirable but it's like they're trying to use too much logic here let's see the seven of pentacles All right, that's the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Okay, so this person, it's like they're trying to delay commitment or they're trying to delay reaching that point where they feel like, okay, you know, now life is complete. Um, and I know that that can sound a little bit um, <laughs> like it doesn't make sense, but they're there is a thing where, you know, some people can be afraid of, you know, losing their independence, for example, right? Like reaching that completeness. And then it's like, well, then what, you know, it's, it's like, it's so hard to explain, but for some people like this can even be that they enjoy the journey getting there. And it's one of those things where like reaching it can be a little bit intimidating, um, possibly even, you know, a fear of, well, then what's next? Then, then will I, if I've reached a goal, then, you know, what else will I be aiming towards in terms of, you know, love? So it doesn't even make sense in their own mind, but it, this is more of like a subconscious type of a thing that's happening. And I feel like that's why they're stalling. That's why we have the hanged man in their subconscious. Consciously though, it's like, yeah, they're thinking they would want this, right? 10 of pentacles, they would want this commitment, but they're holding back and just taking it step by step. So let's see the hanged man. The two of pentacles and the nine of wands. Yeah, well, you know, taking this step back and, and holding out and waiting, um, that's difficult also. For whatever reason, it's like that isn't really working for them either. All right, because with the two of pentacles, I mean, they're really tr like juggling here, like really trying to, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense actually. You know, it's like they're juggling between how they feel and what their desire is and then what they think they should be doing. And this is proving to be quite difficult. It's almost like, you know, the hanging man can also be about surrender so it's like with the nine of wands though it's like they're going against that rather than just surrendering to how they feel it's like they're putting up this this fight this defensiveness against it and again i feel like it's this fear of of the completion of okay reaching this and then what let's see the ace of wands The Seven of Cups and the Four of Wands. I mean, definitely like just really feeling this connection, really, really feeling this connection. But there, there's this emotional confusion about it. Um, like they know what the truth is. They know what it is, but then they also allow themselves to get confused about it because again, it's like, I mean, I'm just getting that right now this person is actually having a crisis concerning, you know, what will happen after, like, will that be, it's like closing out a chapter because like you reach a point where, okay, now you're committed with somebody. So you're closing out the chapter before that. And so for them, it's just easier to have this happen very gradually or to, you know, just have you as a friend or, you know, something along those lines at least for, for the time being. Um, definitely for some of you, there could be um, another situation involved here. Like there could be a third party um, and that could be a part of it as well. But this is, this is the energy that's coming through. The main energy that's coming through is this person's fear of reaching that goal, regardless of whether there's another situation involved or not and when I say third party it doesn't necessarily have to be another person okay it could be anything all right let's see the eight of swords for your energy 
the Six of Cups, and Temperance. All right, so we do have Sagittarius um, showing up here. So some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, for sure. So, yeah, you're... I feel like, you know, this is something, this is a connection that you also feel very deeply for and this is something you would want because you can just feel how strong the connection is between the two of you. And so this is kind of like, you know, what's keeping you in this state of either negative thinking or just feeling like you're just trapped in this because it feels so, so strong and it just feels like this is you know, a person that you could potentially be happy with if they could just overcome this obstacle, at least at the moment, right? Maybe this is just like um, um, a temporary issue, something that is just, you know, short-lived, something going on between the two of you that's just like short-term for now. But either way, you know, it's like you are you are trying to heal. You are trying to find your balance in terms of everything that's happening here. You're trying to find that peace within yourself, but I feel like, you know, there's just a lot of um, fear concerning either losing the connection or or what if it just doesn't get to where you would want it to get, possibly. But I do see you healing that in some way. Finding your balance, at least. Finding some sense of peace within your own self rather than trying to find it within this connection. Okay, so let's see the world. The Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, again, it's like, you know, th there's this sense of, okay, you know, like if we reach that and we reach this like success and this completion and, you know, it's like we're, we've gone through all of these levels. Like for some reason, this is very, very scary to them. Um, I don't know if this means for some of them that they would need to end something else. And that could even be just their own, you know, sense of independence, for example. Whatever it is, though, there's a lot of um, fear surrounding that. Of fearing a, of an ending of something else or a fear of, you know, what else, what kind of pain they might need to endure in order to reach that. And they really feel like, you know, this is something that would really be out of their control. Now, they this is someone, because they do have love for you, they would want to change this. Like, they don't want to feel this way. It's almost as if they hope that it just kind of happens in a way where they don't really have to do much. Um, like they wouldn't have to put much effort into it that, you know, fate can just make it happen and, you know, that everything will be fine. So they do, they are secretly wishing that. Um, but, but yeah, there's, there's a bit of a fear. With the Emperor, though, I do see them overcoming this coming up. So let's actually clarify the Emperor. <laughs> the world showing up again and the hermit yeah okay so this person is definitely moving towards um conquering this fear right wanting to reach this um completion right like to bring things to that level it's not coming easy all right with the hermit being here like there's definitely a lot of soul searching that needs to take place don't be surprised if they kind of withdraw a little bit coming up it's because they're actually processing this whole situation and this fear of actually reaching this new chapter, this new level with you, all right? And this is also them overcoming, you know, that need to be, um, to feel that independence or to feel like, you know, they also have their own sense of self. So yeah, it's, it's, looking, it's looking kind of positive if this is, you know, somebody that you want, and it does feel like you do, and yeah, there's definitely a lot of love here. So yeah, this person is definitely taking steps forward. They are taking steps forward. 
So, Cancer, let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you. And we have the full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. And I feel like, yeah, that's exactly what this person needs to do. You know, like, find that balance between, yeah, you know, not overthinking, you know, the practical, right? And then what they truly want, which is the spiritual here. And I feel like, you know, this can also be a message for you, right? Because you are also finding your own balance and this person is actually doing the same thing, but in a different, in a different way. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.